Hi kids! Today you're going to learn about primary colors, secondary colors, and intermediate colors. Let's read out of our book. Colorful Places Many artists like to create colorful paintings of imaginary scenes. Franz Mark liked to create paintings with many colors. What did he show in the scene in A? Right, picture A is a, a painting by Franz Mark titled Blue Horse with Rainbow, and it was painted in 1913 using watercolor. All right, so right away you'll probably see the horse. What about this green shape right here that looks almost like a moon? I know you guys see the rainbow, and then you probably also see lots of other shapes. This looks almost like a triangle. We have a rectangle here, maybe a sideways trapezoid right here, and so on. Franz Mark mixed many colors from just three colors, red, yellow, and blue. These three colors are called primary colors. Orange, green, and violet are called secondary colors. Look at the color wheel in B. What secondary color do you get by mixing yellow and red? So here's yellow and red, and you get orange, right? Who remembers how you can mix green? Blue and yellow make green. How can you mix violet or purple? Blue and red make violet or purple. Colors such as yellow-orange and yellow-green are called intermediate colors. Can you find some intermediate colors in A and B? Let's look back at A. I see yellow-orange. I see yellow-green. I see red orange and I see blue violet. Let's look at the intermediate colors on the color wheel. We have yellow orange and the, you guys on the intermediate colors, the name always starts with the primary color first. It's a primary color and a secondary color together. So when you mix yellow and orange, you get yellow-orange. When you mix orange and red, you get red-orange. When you mix red and violet, you get red-violet. When you mix violet and blue, you get blue-violet. When you mix blue and green, you get blue-green. When you mix green and yellow, you get yellow-green. Now let's practice makes it, making these colors together. Okay guys, grab a piece of paper and I want you to make um, three columns. The first column will say primary colors. The second column will say secondary colors. And then the third column will say intermediate colors. You're going to need the primary colors and the secondary colors to do this activity. If you don't have these colors, go ahead and grab some crayons and see if you can find all of these colors and you'll be able to also do this activity. All right, we're going to start with the primary colors. And guys, I've written out the names of the colors, but you don't need to do that. You can if you'd like. I did that to help you guys remember and uh, you'll be able to look back at, your, at this sheet that we make today whenever we um, color our castles next week. All right, so let's start with the primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. And let's see, I've written down red first, so I'll get my red marker and color a red dot here. Then I'll get my yellow, 
and do the same. And then we have blue. All right, let's put down our secondary colors. Orange. Green. And violet. And you know violet is the same thing as purple. All right, now let's practice making our intermediate colors. So we start off with yellow. It says yellow, orange. And I'm gonna put a lot of yellow because when you make yellow orange, you need more of the first color than you do the second color. So I'll put just a little bit of orange beside it. All right, next we need a lot of red with a little bit of orange. Next, I'll do red, a lot of red, and a little bit of violet or purple. Next, I'll do blue, a lot of blue, and a little bit of violet. Then we get to do blue, a lot of blue again, and a little bit of green. Next, let's do yellow. A lot of yellow and a little bit of green. Now, don't forget to snap all your lids back on real tight when you're finished. That way your markers don't dry out. Next, you'll need a paintbrush and a cup of water. Move your markers out of the way. Once you get your paper wet, you can't go back with your markers on the wet paper or it'll mess up your markers. All right, so let's put some water on our yellow orange. Mix it together all very well. Now don't paint in the same spot too long or you'll get a hole in your paper. All right, next up, let's see, I'm gonna wash my brush. Remember, bounce, bounce, gently. Then I'll make, I'll mix together my red and my orange to make the intermediate color red, orange. Okay, next I'll do red, violet. Just gently go in a little circle. See where I'm I'm going to keep putting my brush on the red and bringing it over to the purple. But not too much. Alright, so then we have almost red violet there. Let me clean my brush. Bounce, bounce. And I'm going to do blue violet. Now, if you guys already colored your castle... Please draw another castle or some kind of picture. Um, it would be good if you had a Sharpie to do it. If not, just go ahead and use a pencil. Um, no worries. I wouldn't use a washable marker though. Oops. Don't use like a black Crayola because then when we do our color on our castle, the, your other colors are going to um, smear and the black will get all over your color markers. So either draw your picture with a Sharpie or a pencil or a crayon, but don't draw it with one of the black Crayola markers. You see why? Because we're going to be doing this next time. We're going to be making these colors on our castles. All right, so now I have yellow-orange, red-orange, 
red violet, blue violet, blue green, and yellow green. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson, and I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next week.